pick up my birds. Need a little butter here. Hey, I'm Mike with Camo Chair Productions, and I have a fantastic recipe for duck I cannot wait to share with you. It's a recipe for duck pot pie, and I've been eating this stuff for years. It's great with any duck, but it's particularly good with ducks that aren't considered the best table fare, like your divers and your mergansers, birds like that that are a little stronger. It'll have your family and friends thinking these ducks are roast beef. It's a great way to prepare the stronger ducks. Now, the first ingredient you're going to need, of course, is the ducks. <laughs> If you're using birds the size of mallards and black ducks, probably three birds is all you're going to need. If you're using the smaller species, like these wood ducks I have here, the mergansers, uh, you're probably going to want four, maybe five. If you're using the little tiny teal, then go ahead and cook all six of your limit. You'll notice these birds have been plucked. They're not breasted out you want to leave the skin on and if you're not familiar with how to pluck and dress a duck whole like this check out our video how to pluck a duck now once you've got your ducks plucked go ahead and slather them with butter sprinkle them with a little poultry seasoning go ahead and cover your pan with tin foil cook them in the oven at about 425 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes don't overcook the birds just cook them until their internal temperature meets 160 degrees on a meat thermometer, then take them out, set them aside, and let them cool. Now while your birds are cooling, go ahead and assemble the rest of your ingredients and utensils. You're going to need flour, butter, poultry seasoning, some parsley flakes, and some garlic powder, salt and pepper, celery, carrots, and onion. If you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and make your own pie crust but I like to use these prepared pie crusts, they save a lot of time. You're also going to need some beef bouillon cubes. You need a large pot to cook everything in, and you're going to need a 9 inch pie pan. You're going to want to cut about a cup of chopped celery sticks and a cup of carrot slices. Your chopped onion, don't go too heavy on that. Half of a small onion should do. When your birds have cooled sufficiently to work with, go ahead and cut the breast meat away, peel the skin off, and cut the meat into bite-sized chunks. Don't forget to go over the rest of the bird and peel the little pieces of meat off. And don't leave those legs behind, there's a lot of good meat there. Once you've got all your ingredients chopped up, go ahead and get three cups of hot water boiling, adding two beef bouillon cubes to it. Then you're going to want to go ahead and season it with about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can put about a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. and some salt and pepper. And to that, we're going to add our duck and our chopped vegetables. We're going to go ahead and stir this up real well and let it simmer down until the carrots get tender. While that's cooking, we're going to get our pie pan ready. Go ahead and line your 9-inch pie pan with one of your pie crust. And you're going to want to go ahead and trim the edges down around that pan. When your ingredients are ready, you're going to pour them through a colander, but don't dump the water, the stock. We're going to need that. We're going to go ahead and put the raw ingredients aside to cool a bit, and we're going to take three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, melt the butter in a small saucepan, add the flour to it, and stir it until it gets congealed and bubbly. Then we are going to dump the stock into that and stir it until it thickens to make our sauce. You want it nice and thick, and it's going to take a minute, 
but just keep stirring your flour, butter, and stock mixture constantly over a high heat and it will thicken up. Once the sauce is thickened, take your raw ingredients, put them into pie crust, and pour the sauce over top of them. Sprinkle the pie with your parsley flakes for some color. And the secret ingredient that I forgot to mention earlier, which is four or five crispy slices of bacon crumbled up right over the top of the whole thing. Top it with another pie crust. You're going to want to seal these edges down with a fork so they're tight and cut a slit in the top of the pie so the steam can rise and it can vent. Now that your pie is ready, we're going to go ahead and pop it in the oven. You want to cook your pie in an oven that's been preheated to 425 degrees for 10 minutes and then reduce the heat to 375. Remember to keep an eye on it. If the edges start burning, put a little tin foil over top of it. When that timer goes off, you're going to have some really good eating. Oh yeah! You may have to cook it just a little bit longer than recommended. You can tell when it's done when the juice starts getting bubbly. You can see it bubbling up through the slits. But this is a little labor intensive, but it's worth every bit of work you put into it. You're going to love this. If you get some ducks this fall, be sure and give this a try. Now make sure you check us out. Uh, we got some other videos, recipes included, that offer some really inventive ways to use that game you're fortunate enough to get. And we'll be adding to our channel either with recipes or you can join us in the field bagging some of this game we enjoy on the table. So make sure you subscribe to us and keep your eye out for future videos by using that little bell icon so you get notifications when we post them. Hope we see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.